we are not seeing a significant genetic influence on the coastal populations of the Levant from elsewhere. They look very, very similar to the groups that we see inland in Syria and Jordan and places like that, suggesting that there was not a huge influx of people from somewhere else into the coastal regions of the Levant. So the, the people who lived in, in this region prior to the Phoenician period, the, the so-called Canaanites, are in fact the Phoenicians. There was a cultural shift, but not a genetic one. So the Phoenicians and the Canaanites and today's Lebanese are all the same people, and they're all very closely related to groups living in Syria and elsewhere in the Middle East. So that's kind of interesting, and that we're, we're pretty certain about that. We again, it's a pilot study. We'd like to expand the sample sizes, but we are pretty certain about those results. Now, in terms of tracing the spread, that turns out to be more complicated because in their largest colony, Carthage, modern-day Tunis, we are finding that less than 20% of the genetic lineages that we find there could have come out of the Middle East. Most of them look like Aboriginal North African markers, for lack of a better term. They they look like they've been there for much longer. So this is a maximum of 20%. It might be as low as 10% or even less. And again, we're awaiting more data to be able to tell for sure. What that means is that as the Phoenicians moved into this region, they probably didn't have a huge genetic impact. They, they simply changed the culture. So again, in the, ways, in the same way that the Sea Peoples probably influenced in some way the coastal population of the Levant, the, the people who became known as the Phoenicians influenced the region of North Africa around Carthage, but they didn't have a massive genetic input. There wasn't a huge you know, resettlement of people. At least, we don't see evidence of it. Interestingly, though, we do see evidence of it in Malta, and this is very new data, which, which wasn't covered in the article. Uh, we've just gotten that data in the last couple of weeks. And surprisingly, it could be, and again, we are awaiting additional data and additional samples, but it could be that more than half of the Y chromosome lineages that we see in today's Maltese population could have come in with the Phoenicians. So that is a significant genetic impact. Now, why is that? Well, perhaps the population wasn't as dense. Perhaps when the Phoenicians settled, they killed off the pre-existing population, and therefore their descendants became today's Maltese. Um, perhaps the islands never had that many people, and you could literally move shiploads of Phoenicians over there, and they, they simply swamped the, the local population. We don't know for sure. But the results are consistent with a settlement of people from the Levant within the last couple of thousand years, and that points to the Phoenicians. It doesn't look like the sort of pattern we would expect from a, a massive settlement during the Islamic expansion. We know a little bit about the history of that. We know that the, the, most of the Muslim invasions came from Sicily, and most of those came from Iberia or from North Africa. So we have a, a conception of what those lineages should look like. We're not seeing that sort of pattern in Malta. So instead of these lineages coming in perhaps 1,000, 1,200 years ago with these Muslim invasions, in fact, it looks like they came in before that. Now, we also don't think that they came in much, much earlier than that during the, the expansion of farming during the Neolithic, which is another hypothesis. So we've got three major expansions out of the Middle East that we've got to account for. One occurred within the, you know, 10,000 years ago, fairly early on within that period, around 10,000 years ago, out of the Middle East with the spread of farming, the dawn of the Neolithic. The second major expansion would be the spread of the Phoenicians. That's around 2,500 to 3,000 years ago. And the final major expansion from the Middle East into this part of the world was the, the Arab expansion. So again, what we're seeing in Malta is evidence that was probably that second one, a major Phoenician impact on, on the Maltese population.